now the Australian government passed a law that will take effect at the end of this year, in December of this year, that will ban branding and logos on not only cigarette packets, but all tobacco-related products. The tobacco companies are crying foul, saying that, you know, the Australian government is seizing and infringing on its intellectual property rights, as well as violating global trade rules and global trade agreements. Some of those big tobacco companies that are suing the Australian government include British American Tobacco, Imperial Tobacco, as well as Philip Morris, the maker of the famous Marlboro brand. Um, Rich Imperial Tobacco on the back of this announcement last year actually released an ad to tell the Australian government exactly how it felt about its decision. I make the rules around here, so I'm going to tell you where you can and cannot smoke. I'm over 18. It's legal. I know. Just give me some money. Now, I'm going to remove all branding so every pack looks the same. You do realise I'm an adult and I can make my own decisions. Do as you're told. Stop plain packaging legislation. Stop this nanny state. Contact your Member of Parliament at nonannystate.com.au. Authorised by W Merritt, Imperial Tobacco, Australia, Sydney. So there you have uh, Imperial Tobacco saying that, you know, um, that what they're doing is really like behaving like a nanny state, adopting a very feudal-like system, that they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. And, of course, the Australian government is doing all of this because it's trying to um, cut back on uh, the number of smokers we have in this country. Approximately 15,000 people die in Australia due to smoking-related causes. Rish? Tracy, of course, uh, I think Australia is the first country to actually try and implement this sort of legislation. Uh, it's going to, of course, uh, be noted elsewhere, and I'm sure that other countries have got mixed views on this. Tell us about the uh, global side of things. Absolutely, you're right. Australia is the world's first country to implement the, such a ban, and it's being watched by countries all over the world. In fact, today, um, sorry, yesterday, Honduras actually made a formal complaint to the World Trade Organization. This comes one month after Ukraine formally complained to the WTO, saying that Australia is uh, violating global trade agreements and uh, breaching um, intellectual property rights. Not only are these countries involved, Rish, the likes of Cuba, Mexico, Chile, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, the list goes on, have all expressed anger towards this. Tobacco companies are really afraid that if other com countries adopt this law, it could really affect their sales in emerging markets. Emerging markets aside, countries such as the UK, Canada and New Zealand are watching what happens in Australia extremely closely because they have expressed interest in doing the same. So it's not only the tobacco companies versus the Australian government, it seems like the countries are in it as well. Rish, you know, as the saying goes, where there is smoke, there is fire.